Thank you for joining us for the fourth segment of the MT Connect short course. During this segment, viewers will briefly explore two MT Connect documents, MT Connect devices and MT Connect streams. The MT Connect standard addresses two fundamentally distinct types of information related to manufacturing operations. The first is information directly associated with the operations and status of a piece of equipment. Discrete pieces of data typically represent this information. The information models defined in parts 2, 3, and 5 are used to describe this information. The second type of information represents MT Connect assets, which are fundamental to the execution of manufacturing operations, but are not directly associated with any one piece of equipment for their entire life cycle. This information is more complex than a discrete piece of data and is typically represented as content within an electronic document. The information models defined in Part 4 and its subparts of the MT Connect standard address MT Connect assets. Focusing on the operation and status of a piece of equipment, an MT Connect agent responds to a request from information by publishing a response document that is encoded using XML. As an XML encoded document, a response document has two primary sections, a header and document body. The header section of the document provides information including XML and agent version information, agent storage capacity, parameters associated with the data management within the agent, and XML information required for a software application to properly decode the contents of the document. The body section of the document contains the data and other information requested by the client software application. The body section of the response document is organized based on semantic data models defined in the MT Connect standard. If the request from client software application was for the metadata describing the piece of or multiple pieces of equipment and that data that can be reported by that equipment, then the contents of the response document will be organized based on the semantic data model defined in Part 2 of the standard, the device's information model. The, res the resulting response document is called MT Connect Devices Response Document. If the request from the client software application was for the actual data published by one or multiple pieces of equipment, then the contents of the response document will be organized based on the semantic data model defined in Part 3 of the standard, the streams information model. The, res the resulting response document is called the MT Connect Streams response document. Both data models utilize two types of XML elements to describe the organized information. These are called structural elements and data entities. Structural elements define the physical and logical parts and subparts used to describe a piece of equipment. Higher level structural elements describe major functions within a piece of equipment like the machine controller, each of the axes, the enclosure, and safety equipment. Lower level structural elements describe many of the smaller subparts of a piece of equipment like motors, valves, tanks, or a door. In addition to defining the various parts and pieces that can be used to describe a piece of equipment, the information model also provides an ontology or set of rules that defines the relationship between the various subparts of a piece of equipment. The ontology information is a vital component of the information model that establishes a standardized approach for manufacturers to describe their equipment, which is a fundamental component for creating structured data. Data entities are used to describe each piece of data published by the piece of equipment. Each piece of data is organized into one of three categories, samples, events, and conditions. Also, each piece of data can be characterized based upon a type and, when applicable, a subtype. Types include terms like temperature, pressure, controller mode, and execution state. Subtypes can be used to further differentiate between similar but different pieces of data. For example, an actual position versus a programmed position. 
Additional information can be defined to enhance the meaning of the values provided for data entities included. This information includes standard units, where applicable, definition of any pre-processing that has been applied to the data like determining an average value or a maximum value for a series of data samples. The information model defines many other terms that may be used to define a piece of data. A basic understanding of extensible markup language, XML, is integral to understanding the content of an MTConnect document. XML is human-readable and verbose enough to allow for ease of use, and documents encoded in XML can be validated for correct information and content by a software application. For the purposes of this short course, we will evaluate an MT Connect device's response document that is encoded in XML to demonstrate many of the basic concepts used from, to form the document. XML represents information in a structured text format. The topmost portion of the document is called the document header. As we described earlier, the header contains two types of information. Information used to a client software application to properly interpret the contents of the document and additional information that a client software application needs to know about the MT Connect agent so that it can make successive requests for information. The document body contains the information that a client software application needs to know about a piece of equipment and the data to be reported by that piece of equipment. The client software application uses this information to fully interpret data published by the piece of equipment so that it has the same context and meaning that, data, that the data represents on the shop floor. The structural elements describe the physical and logical parts of the piece of equipment that will be publishing data. The structural elements are primary keys used to organize the data received from a piece of equipment into structured data. The data entities define each piece of data that can be published from a piece of equipment. The MT Connect Devices document does not provide values for the data, but it does provide all the details for a software application to interpret the data that is provided in an MT Connect Streams document. While the MT Connect Devices document describes the piece of equipment and the data that can be reported from that equipment, the MT Connect Streams document provides the values for the data that is actually published by the piece of equipment. The MT Connect Streams document has the same major components as the MT Connect Devices document. It has a header that is very similar to the MT Connect Devices document. It also has a document body. The content of the document body for the MT Connect Streams document is defined by the Streams Information Model, detailed in Part 3 of the standard. Like the MT Connect Devices document, the MT Connect Streams document also has structural elements and data entities. However, there is only one primary type of structural element in the MT Connect Streams document. It's called Component Stream. Component Stream organizes all the data that is reported in the document for each structural element that was defined in the MT Connect Devices document. If there is no new data to be reported for a specific structural element, there will be no occurrence of the component stream for that structural element in the MT Connect Streams document. Within each data entity, the value for the data being reported for that data entity is provided. In XML terms, the value of the data is provided as CDATA within the data entity. Together, the MT Connect Devices and MT Connect Stream documents provide all the operation and status information from a piece of equipment that is needed by the Shop4 data collection system. Thank you for joining us for this brief segment about the MT Connect standard. You can find other short course videos on the MT Connect YouTube channel, so stay tuned.